It's the Kenwood Senior Center Car Show, the annual car show. It's August 15th, 2022. Your videographer, Ray Rice. We finally got to do this car show. It was rained out last week. Here we are, August 15th, and the show is on. What a great show it's going to be. Let's check out the cars. Well, Kenny Dorn at Canton Street, Baldwinsville, New York, didn't have too far to go to bring his 1940 Plymouth. Resto rod. Not the way it came from the factory, but a whole lot of modern adjustments. Disc brakes, P8 engine, powdered interior. Great car. Hey, to keep coming in, folks, here's a 1962 Chevy, owned by Smitty. Smitty. All right. They say you're a blast from the past right from 1950. Is that true? That's true. Okay, well, thanks for coming. <laughs> Smitty's a drive-in freak, too. Puts a sheet out in his backyard and has drive-in movies. Right here. Well, folks, here's a car that's a tribute to the Annie Griffin Show. Mayberry. Mayberry, a mythical town, was really a town that matched... Mount Airy, the real town, Mount Airy, North Carolina. Now, if you have mechanical troubles down there in mythical Mayberry, you call Goober, Goober, the town mechanic. This fine 67 Ford Galaxy comes from Hannibal, New York. We get the member right here of downtown Hannibal. Talk to me about this car. Uh, I put it together about 15 years ago. Okay, it yeah. was just a plain tan colored car. And your name is? Michael Aber. Michael, what's brought to mind the fact that you should recreate this tribute car? I always liked Andy Griffin. I always watched him. Every time I could get a chance to watch him, I watched it. All right. Good job. Do you get a lot of comments on it? Oh, yes, I do. Yeah, okay. People... I let the kids get in it, take pictures of no. it. Okay. That's me. Now, the younger generation probably needs to be reminded of what it was. Yeah. Oh, hold it. We got Hi. You like this car? You don't like this? I don't think she likes that car. Right. So, do you drive it much? Yes. Every chance, every show we go to. Now, if you've been down to my area, that town does a great job interpreting that TV show. A great job. And you got the old barber shop. And the... Yeah. In the diner place, and you got the street scenes, and they got a great museum down there. Yes, they do. A great museum. It's an incredible yep. museum. Yep. And the one, the, the fella that uh, fixed the uh, uh, household items. Yeah. He now owns a restaurant down there. Really? For real? And in a big, yeah, it's a big uh, hotel too. Okay. How old the guy is he now? Uh, I think he's dead. I think his son owns it now. Okay, I was going to say, he's got to be up there pretty good. Yeah. But no town does what that town does to that TV show, to bring it back to reality. For those who remember, and those who are going to remember after they go there. Great job, Mount Airy. It's Harry Burton, 32 Ford. It's a hot ride. Spent a lot of time in these old cars, some of these folks. A lot of time, a lot of money. A lot of man hours. It's Harry Burton. Paul Royer is a 1932 street ride, and you got your lovely wife there? Yes. Is she running cool today? She is. She's she running cool. cool. Yeah, she's running good. cool today. Let's check it out. <laughs> awesome job. Folks, you're coming in. Well, the military's coming in now. It was a very successful idea we had in the mid-60s. Ranchero, the car base pickup. This does not have that six-cylinder engine that came with the factory. Wow. Supercharged. Man. Again, 1967 Ford Ranchero. Whoa. There's a Comet GT, 1971. On TV show. Chevrolet Nova. And a T-Bucket. Called that because they stripped down the Model T Roadster. Put a V8 engine in, lowered it, fat tires in the back. 
Iconic. Key bucket. 1970 Ford. That's right, 1984 Ford. 84 Ford. Mustang. That's when they downsized them, folks. Good grief. 1955 Ford. Jamie Petrosino. Right there from Port Byron. You still live in Port Byron, Jamie? Everybody wants to know what somebody who modifies cars, all right, restores cars, customized cars. This is the guy right here. He works over there to Angry Owl Restorations. Is that true, Jamie? That is true. He's the guy responsible for what you see around here in Central New York, all right? He's one of the craftsmen, the high-end folks. How does it feel to be celebrated, celebrated Jamie? Celebrated, yeah. Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> Come back and ask me later. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of work, isn't it? It is. It's a lot of work. But I imagine you get a lot of accolades. People say, wow, Jamie did that. That's something special. I don't take the credit for nothing just in case something goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you do. Thanks for that hard work. You're welcome. By the way, Jamie belongs to the Port Byron Piston Jockeys. you got a couple of cars. This is just one of them. This club sedan with a automatic automatic transmission. 1955. Well, nothing's more popular these days than a 55, 6, 7 Chevy. The Tribe 5. This is a 57. It's a hot 57. And right here we had real sales success. The Dodge Dart. So successful that they named a modern conventional sedan. The Dart. The Dodge Dart. Well, we got us a 1951 Merc here. Really, really great. This body style pioneered in 49, and people made a lot of customs out of them. A lot of customs in 49, 50, and 51. Now, Jamie, did you customize any of these Mercs? Yes. Huh? Yes. A lot of them? Not a lot of them. Is anything cuter than a 51 Merc customized? Anything? Uh, not really. Yeah. Not really. They were called the lead sled for a reason. Well, these 49 to 54 Chevy trucks are really, really popular. So popular, you can't find any good ones around, and they remake all the body parts. You can buy a whole cab, brand new cab. That's right, folks. The automotive aftermarket manufacturers repop most of the metal parts that are needed to recreate this truck. Wow. Running, folks. Great turnout here. August 15, 2022. Kenwood Senior Center, the annual car show. Well, when you customize, totally alter a 1937 Oldsmobile two door, you end up with this. Another pretty 57 Chevy. Beautiful. How long have you owned this one? 24 years. 24 years. Did you ever think you'd get the popularity that these things have seen lately? No. Okay. Who am I talking to? That's Spagnola. All right. Where are you from? Westvale, New York. Whoa, all the way to Westvale. Oh, what a ride, huh? All right. Beautiful car. Beautiful car. <laughs> Bet you get a lot of comments, huh? Take a look at the license plate. Well, this fine 1954 Chevy four-door, 210 model, is owned by Ray and Eileen Rice of Bottomsville. We tour with the Vintage Chevrolet Club. It's been across the Mississippi River three times. The club really gets the cars out there. Beautiful 1948 Ford. How long have you owned it? 22 years. 22 years. Wow. Anything special about it? A little bit. Yeah. Holy cow. That didn't come with a 232 cubic inch flathead. No, it did not. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. It came to us today with a Cobra Ford motor. That's right. The flathead V8 is gone. The overhead valve, hot rod motor in there. How many horsepower does she have? About 300. 300. Wow. Man, that's what it's all about, folks. Keep up with the highway speeds. Good acceleration. 
Great gas mileage, good reliability, and you still got the old car look. I'd call it a custom. What do you call it? Street rod. Street rod. Okay, good. A lot of these names for these cars flow together. You got rat rod, street rod, custom, altered, factory correct cars. Nice job. Well, they sold a lot of these. 66, 67, 68, all look the same. This is owned by Johnny D. Domenico, 1968 Chevy. He's from Bobbinsville, New York. Pat Lyon owns this beauty, 1929 Ford. Doesn't look like a Model A Ford with a four-cylinder, 40-horse motor in it. Looks a lot different. Yep, it's really too cool. What a street rod, beautiful. Not shiny at all, is it, folks? Not at all. That is a 55 Chevy there. Sold a lot of these. I think it's got a Harpo motor in it by the sounds of it. 1955 Chevy. It's a Bel Air. Well, in Ballsman, New York at the time, during the 50s and 60s, we had car clubs. This is one of them. A lot of Ford products got Chevy motors in them. It says, built Ford tough with Chevy stuff. Wow. Oh, there's Woody. Lee Iacocca. Well, he invented the Mustang. Give him credit. He went with Chrysler, invented the caravan, and a lot of other stuff. Dead now, 91 years old. I think we got us a 1964 Mercury Comet, I believe. I'll double check. No, it's a Mercury Cyclone. Nineteen sixty five. Mercury Cyclone. Good grief. Well we saw this pull in, it was kinda of noisy. Now we how many carburetors we got on one car here? Two. Two? Wow. Holy moly. What's the horsepower in this puppy? I don't know. Don't know? Just a guess. Three or four hundred. Oh Well that's more than the two hundred and sixty five the cubic inch V eight. They came with the car in 1960 or 55. 180 horse. 180 horse it was, and now it's got 300 and something. All right, cool. Give or take, take a guess. <laughs> 1969 Roadrunner. What success that they had with this car. Again, 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner. Whoa, Wiley Coyote here. Good grief, Wiley. I knew I'd find a Roadrunner someplace. There he is. 1980 Pontiac Le Mans. Yeah, they downsized a lot of cars in the 80s. Hello, buddy. Got Ed Barlow here, past president. Got Ed Barlow here, he's been a fixture. A real picture right here at Canton Woods, Ed. Give me the skinny on Canton Woods. What's new here? Not much. Gonna have a nice car show here. Everybody's gonna enjoy themselves. We're see who's got the best car. All right, yeah, but you know, as long as they bring cars, they don't have to be the best. Uh, well, that's right. I remember years. Always, always coming up with a nice car. Yeah. How many years have you been associated with Canton Woods in administrative role or helping role? Over 20 years. Over 20 years. You gotta give it to people like Ed who make this whole organization work. And Avis, too. Hi, Avis. Tom is here. Yeah, there's this car right there. Who else calls Bingo? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. She's flying. She's getting the flies out of here. Yeah, a lot of folks make this happen. Let's run down through these folks that donate. Look at these businesses here. Look at them. Oh, he's got them, I think. I think it's all Thank you, sponsors. Yep, we got to thank the sponsors. Sounds like just about everybody stepped up in Brownsville to support the Kenwood Senior Center. Incredible. We got Director Ruth Troy over there just waiting for me not to ask her to say something on camera, so we're going to go over and do the right thing about her. Great job here tonight, Ruth. Thank you. The time that these folks see this for the third or fourth time on TV, in fact, 98 TV, it'll be snowing and blowing.
<laughs> and you're going to tell them how nice and warm and fuzzy it is here at Canwoods today, August 15, 2022. What do you got to say about this? I say we got a beautiful evening here at Canton Woods on the grounds of our senior center. The community was so responsive and provided lots of wonderful prizes for us. We've got a local musician, George Lehop, playing in the background. Local food being provided by the Canal Side uh, Bistro Cafe. Just beautiful vehicles and folks having a wonderful evening here in our community on, at our senior center. Well, thanks for all the work you do. And not just here, but all during the year. Okay. Who's this fine gentleman over here? This is my husband, John. I'm John. Hi, John. <laughs> How is it sharing her with the senior center? It's tough, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> she works me to death. <laughs> you know, putting in a lot of effort to this. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Grief, here's some of those gifts. Wow. Look at them. Man. You got a pretty good turnout here. Yeah. How much fun is it to be alive right here at the Senior Center tonight? <laughs> Good. Did I get any better than this? Nope. You ever get any better than this? Okay. Wow. We're going to have one later. Whoa, look at this. 1946 Ford pickup truck. Mm. This doesn't have the original flathead engine. It's got something really, really powerful, a modern V8. You can have an elderly vehicle, folks, but to keep up with traffic these days, you got to have something a little better in the horsepower department than the original motor. And this guy's got it. 46 Ford pickup. Oh, there's an Etzel. Named after Henry Ford's son, Etzel. Etzel was not a sales success they thought it would be. Pretty much just like a full-size Ford. Not much different. With an increase in price. It didn't sell well at all. A while ago, we saw the Ford Ranchero. This is the Chevy sister, the El Camino. 1984 Chevy El Camino. The car pickup. 1932 Chrysler, CP150. 32 Chrysler. This is owned by John Hudson. John Hudson. Only one of six left in the world, folks. Rear car. It's original, too, except for the paint. Never taken apart, never restored. Incredible. Well, they call it a Phaeton because it's got four doors and a soft top. Phaeton is a name of a carriage. A lot of carriage names are used for cars. Sedan, coupe, really coupe. This was luxury in 1932, folks. Good grief. Look at this under the hood. Man, a straight eight, a straight eight engine. Wow, look at the thermostat. Adjust the shutters up on the radiator. Man, whoa, that looks like a siren. That looks like a siren. Maybe maybe it even makes noise. Can the siren make noise, John Hudson? Yeah, a little bit. You think know. the guy in the guitar is going to bother? No, he don't care. He won't even hear it. That's in the days, folks, when something had to spin to make a siren. It wasn't electronic. Wow. Pretty car. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> well, we got us a Chrysler here, another Chrysler. This is a 97. They made these for six years. The Plymouth Fowler. <laughs> this was Chrysler's answer to the standalone pony car. A little Corvette type car. A little sporty car. Call it whatever you wanted. It was a statement. It was radical. Awful pretty. I'll just leave it up there. You take 1968 Triumph. 68 Triumph. TR 250. Owned by Mike Mastraco of Bottlesville, New York. Puts a lot of miles on this. Mike drives his cars. Drives them a lot. 
Elton John's. Ooh, there's the back of this prowler. Plymouth prowler. Like I said, these 57 Chevys are more popular now than ever. Just an iconic design. Well, this Jeep right here, it's a 1975. It's made by AM General. They made a lot of big stuff. A lot of utility vehicles, a lot of stuff for the military. Buses, some trucks. This is a communications Jeep. Original radio. Wow. Well, we got another poor bar and piston jockeys car. I hope the metallic shows up in this paint. It was really, really weird here. I don't see it much. Popular in the day are curb feelers. Mud flaps with reflectors and curb feelers. They rub the curb. You can feel the vibration in the car so you didn't mess up your white walls. Curb feelers. Maybe right now you can see the heavy metallic in the paint. Metallic in the paint is gotten from ground up aluminum flakes. But in the 30s and 40s, it was fish gills. Fish scales that were ground up to give it a metallic sheen. Here now, Pat's one of the big movers and shakers over there at the military room at the Hancock Airport. Hi, Rick. When those soldiers get off the plane, you guys accommodate them. All right, sit in the chairs, feed them, chow, and so and You know, give them a home away from home so they don't feel homesick. Is that right, Pat? Yes, we just went over 134,000 guests, and this is our 15th year. Okay, in 15 years, that many guests? Yeah, 134,000. Wow, have, okay. Uh, mostly all for Trump. But Where is the room right now in the new airport? It's on the north end of the terminal, which is Terminal B. On the second floor. Second floor now. Okay. Yeah, All right. Second good. floor, north end. It's Terminal B. Right. Pat's up there looking at the sky, and uh, yeah. we feel a few drops here. <laughs> That's not to hurt your car. A couple drops, is it? No, it's not. Okay. Folks, carry in to put things away because we got us some sunshine precipitation here. Wow. It's raining, folks. Clear skies. Sunny. A couple of clouds, and it is raining. But well, we got most of the seniors under the tents. Folks are screwing. Get those convertible tops up. Our caterers from Canal Walk. Okay. They're suffering the most over there. The DJ. He's out of the gazebo doing well. Well, folks, it's coming down the buckets right here at the Kenwoods Senior Center Car Show. It's August 15, 2022. It was a great car show until the skies opened up. This is your videographer, Ray Rice. Great show. 